Hello everyone, my name is Tori and welcome to the People Asked segment. If you are new to this channel, please take a moment and subscribe so that you get notified every time we post a video. Now, today's topic is on how do you get started as a new insurance agent? Yes, as a new insurance agent. Where do you even begin? It's overwhelming. Well, lucky for you, I have six things that you need to go ahead and get organized before you even start selling insurance. First and foremost, make sure you have an insurance license. Without an insurance license, you cannot legally sell insurance in any state. It is illegal. You do not want to get in trouble. Okay? So get that license or licensees out of the way so that you can do business legally. Number two, make sure to get an affordable one desk office to get you started. It's very easy to get carried away and you wanna buy everything new. No, 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 and no. I can't emphasize that enough. It's very easy to get broke when you're starting a business, so please avoid that. I know I've been there, don't do what I did. Try to get a one desk office that's pre-finished that way, the only expense you have to foot would be your laptop and your cell phone. Outside that, you don't need anything else. You just need a room where people can meet you and look legit. Okay, number three, get yourself a good cell phone. A cell phone that has good battery and good network. This is very critical because you are now 100% on commission especially for those of you who are independent agents. If you are a captive agent, you may have a base pay and then commission. But for those who are independent, you are 100% on commission. So you want to make sure every lead that comes through your phone has an opportunity to be turned into an actual active policy. That's how you're going to make your money. So you don't want calls to be dropped. Because if you can't answer that call, they'll definitely shop with somebody else. Number four, get yourself contracts with insurance companies. There are two ways that you can get your contracts. Number one, through the companies themselves directly. And that is my most preferred way because anything you write, you own. That book of business is yours. That policy is yours. If you end up let's say like in the long term want to sell your business you can sell that book of business with your entire business because it's a hundred percent yours the second way is to go through a major agency now the major agencies don't sell insurance typically but they're just there to help new agents get contracts and get started now, when you start, you're signing these contracts with major agencies, you want to also be careful and read your contracts thoroughly because some of them can get a little bit tricky and can also own your, um, your book of business if you're not careful. But this is also a good way to get started. But just make sure you understand the stipulations in that contract. One way you do not want to go about starting your agency is going through a regular agency let me tell you i've been through this you don't want to get a contract through a regular agency because they're going to own your business if something goes wrong with your relationship you will find out in a hard way that all your work was for nothing because now they own every single policy that you wrote you don't want that it's hard people take each other to court you don't have money you don't have time for that so make sure you follow the two ways that I've actually suggested. Go through directly, through the um, insurance companies, or go through a major agency who is structured to help new agents get started. And I'll have templates and links and checklists to get, to help you with everything that I'm, I'm actually saying right now. Number five, try to get as much prepared as possible when it comes to on-site visit by an account manager. What do I mean by that? In the first quarter that you sign a contract with um, an insurance company directly, they usually send out an account manager who is 
designed to check you out, make sure you're legit, make sure you're not selling insurance out of your home and that they can trust you. So in part of preparation, if you have a business, a business plan, have it ready, have your business cards ready, have your brochures ready so that you look organized. And because you have an office, they know that you're really into this business and it's not just a short term. And depending on how you're currently selling in that first quarter, it can also determine how they can support you financially to grow your business. So get yourself organized. Now, once you have all these five things out of the way, you can now start selling insurance. Yes, time to make money, right? Make money. So get yourself organized, get your contracts in place, start selling those policies because you are here to make money. And I'll do a different video to help you identify how you can get leads without spending a ton of money. Because remember, you are on a budget. If you really like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe. And I'll be talking to you soon.